Our search for alien life in the far reaches of space is ongoing, but now researchers say that despite the innumerable amount of planets still left to be investigated, most of them would be too dangerous to harbor alien life even if they have water. So what changed? Until now, researchers looked specifically at a planet's ability to sustain life, using metrics like water content, atmosphere, and distance from their respective stars, or whether or not they were in that sweet spot like Earth, also known as the Goldilocks Zone. But now they say we need to also be looking at space weather phenomena like solar flares as these types of events have the ability to affect life on a planet as well. The study investigated specifically an exoplanet 150 light years from Earth. It's got one of the most important features needed to support life, an atmosphere. But after studying the bubble of gas that surrounds the planet, researchers found the atmosphere is being yanked away from it in mass by the radiation of its closest star. Moreover, they've also discovered that more regular but weaker solar flares are more detrimental to a planet's ability to sustain life than high-energy ones that happen rarely. Researchers say these findings will help us more easily rule out planets in our constant hunt for extraterrestrial life, narrowing our search and helping us better understand the universe.